Before we get started with the show, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Our first sponsor is Atmos Planning, financial planners turning visionaries into meaningful millionaires. Our second sponsor of the day is Planet Duct. Reach out to them for any of your air duct cleaning needs. Now, let's get on with the show. All right, are we rolling? All right. Welcome back to the COS Business Podcast, the number one podcast in Colorado Springs. My name is Andrew Hasley, and I am the host of the show. Today, we have on, three for the third time, Michael Schoening. Do you prefer Mike or Mike? Michael. Uh, Michael. Michael. Okay. Michael, Michael Schoening, the director of Unconditional. Can you tell us a little bit what that is? You know, Unconditional, uh, yeah, people in the in the communities here, of course, know me as a kitchen designer for, for many years, last five years, but... Unconditional essentially is the is the product of what I want to be. Okay, sweet. Well, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out what you want to be. Absolutely. Uh, but first, we'll roll the intro music and then we'll get started. Beautiful. This is a show where we have real conversations with entrepreneurs and business owners who are mostly in Colorado Springs doing things in the community of Colorado Springs. All right, well, we're going to keep it rolling. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna cut it to where we start. So, yeah. so, you, so, Michael, how's it been, man? Good, man. Busy. Yeah. Really busy. Really productive and really good. Yeah. So the last time you were on, I think was probably November, huh? Uh, yeah. I think that's when my chickens were little. Yeah. Little okay. How how long do chickens live? Uh, <laughs> uh, until you eat them. <laughs> until yeah, you they eat they them. live until you eat them. Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. All right. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> so that's actually. Been about like six months now. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's perfect because yeah. that's when we like to get people back on anyways. Like Beautiful. roughly six months, six months out. Um, so so you started this this you had this idea for this event and you yeah. just went for it. P- pretty pretty much. I I literally asked myself at one a.m. one day if I had nothing holding me back. Right. If I had so I had this I had this what I wanted to be and what it would look like and how I would get there. And I thought, well, maybe not just for me, maybe other people want the same thing as me in life and, and in being an entrepreneur. And then I thought if I had absolutely no uh, limitations, right? If money was not a problem, if, if there was time, wasn't a problem, the, if there was no limitations, what would I do? And I realized it would, it would be absolutely monstrous. It would be huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you were originally about to call it beast mode, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> not a lot of people know that. So I was originally going to call it beast mode, and it just really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. You know, yeah, yeah. It's a workout term of, you know, beast mode is, is kind of getting primal, getting into that lizard mm-hmm. part of the brain and just pushing through everything. It gave the wrong impression. It did, because beast mode infers that we're training people to be entrepreneurs with no heart and no soul. Okay. And that is not at all what we're going for. So we changed the name to unconditional. Okay. And why is that? Well, I want to, I want to basically exemplify my heart in this thing Mm -hmm. and what this thing really is. You know, the word unconditional really just means to be without conditions. And there's really three elements to it. One is that is, is in recognition and realization that we, especially here in the West have been conditioned, right. To be employees, to shut up, sit, sit down, not stir the pot. I mean, we have been conditioned in so many ways and, and externally, even from people who love us, family and friends saying, Hey, Hey, you know, you really shouldn't start that new project because it may not work. Right. Well, what Mm -hmm. if you fail? What if this dream killers, right. And they do that because they think they're actually helping us and loving us, but that is a condition. And at a certain point we internalize that. Right. And so we need to uncondition from that kind of toxic mindset that we've collected from society, from friends and family and from ourselves. And then the unconditional, one of the unconditional portions there is identifying and being okay with having conditions. So I started asking people, how much can I pay you to divorce your wife? How much can I pay you to have a heart attack? How much can I pay you to not raise your kids? And people go, you're insane. I say, but we're already doing that, right? What's one of the number one causes of divorce today? Mm -hmm. Financial arguments. Uh, How many kids, you know, can you talk to and say, Hey, you know, uh, tell me about your dad. Well, I'd love to play ball with him, but he's just, he's always at work. 
You know, and mom, and then mom, when, when they're home, mom and dad, you know, they're always on their phone, always on their computer. You know, they're always working, you know, uh, uh, people getting stressed. I've been hospitalized uh, twice for anxiety attacks, mm -hmm. uh, you know, different diseases and things that physiological things I've developed. I literally just out of stress, fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. and the list goes on and on and how stress and cortisol really affects the body negatively. Right. And so to identify those that if that problem, you have to identify a solution. And I think one is that whole 10 X thing, right. Is, is, is just go out there, beast mode, kill it. Mm -hmm. But then w at what risk, mm -hmm. right. At risk of your faith or your family or your health or who you are, are you taking time to go hiking or are you just thinking about making that next million bucks? Mm -hmm. And all of that ties in with one more element. And that is to just be unconditional as an entrepreneur. COVID is and was a condition. And how many businesses shut down because of COVID? You know, they, they weren't able to pivot because they were so stuck. The businesses that succeeded were the ones who said, okay, we're going to start doing more online sales. Mm -hmm. We're going to start doing, you know, DoorDash and carry out and whatever. The businesses who survive COVID and who will survive the next whatever's down the pike mm -hmm. are the ones that are unconditional in their mindset, mindset of yes. being an entrepreneur. So these three elements make an unconditional conditional entrepreneur, one who can weather the storm, one who is okay with being human and okay with having a family and realizing that's more important than, um, than money. Mm -hmm. And then one is to, uh, be unconditioned from the, uh, this negative and also this, uh, employee mindset that we've been taught since we were five years old by public school. Yeah. Well, not even just taught, but indoctrinated. <laughs> well, Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're like, I'm not going to get into you're that. Un undoctrinated. Undoctrinated. Yeah. So what 100%. does the word unconditional mean? You know, I know when you love someone unconditionally, it means without, you know, yeah, it, you just love them no matter what. An unconditional entrepreneur, you know what I mean? It's 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 both. It's it's being rock solid in who you are as an entrepreneur, right? And the word, uh, to explain that, maybe I should explain the word entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. It means one who is willing to carry the weight of something. It, it, it's it's one who it's it, it's a it's a French root, and essentially uh, uh, the word it's, in Wikipedia it says like the caretaker, not you know the one that, who carries the actual gold, but the one who yeah, maybe, but it's <laughs> it's basically the one willing to carry the weight of the thing. Mm -hmm. So when you mm. say I'm an entrepreneur, you're saying I'm willing to carry the weight of what it means to run a business and mm -hmm. especially a new business, mm -hmm. right? When we talk about entrepreneurship, it's not just new and new startups, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a, us, us young dudes trying to figure stuff out. It's, it's a mindset. And so that I want to be empowered and taught. And so we're calling this the entrepreneurial uh, empowerment movement. Okay. So what's the, what is the goal of this, this event? It's the goal of this event is to bring this unconditional entrepreneurial mindset to Colorado Springs and okay. beyond to provide high intensity and high impact and high effective coaching. And we're calling it holistic entrepreneurial coaching. So there's business coaching, there's personal coaching, there's several different types of coaching. We've really blended this together with, with our different speakers and our different coaches. And we're able to offer this holistic entrepreneurial coaching to people. And we want to offer a massive value at an insanely affordable price in a very short period of time. And mm -hmm. that's what I wanted. I, I looked at all these programs and, and all these different things and business coaching and personal coaching. It's, it's like, you know, 10, 15, 20 grand, you know, one to three year programs. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I gotta make money. I gotta do stuff right? I gotta farm my chickens, you know? Yeah. And so <laughs> I, I got selfish and I said, I want, I want everything. I want massive value, really affordable in one day. And it okay. didn't exist. So I made it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and now I'm offering it to the community. Okay. Yeah. So when you said you got selfish, what, what is, what does that mean? And, and why is that good? <laughs> so, so, cause I didn't want to wait. I didn't mm -hmm. want to wait two, three years and spend 20 grand to learn something. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to make money and I want to be effective, but I didn't want to have to, uh, buy into a very lengthy and expensive program to, to be empowered as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to be unconditional in my life. I want to be unconditional in my marriage, in, 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 um, the ministries that I do in the 
the businesses that I do in the design, I want to continue my education in all circles, but I want to be built in a way that if I'm a ship and the waves are coming about to destroy my ship, I just turn into a submarine real quick. Okay. Like who cares about <laughs> waves? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's that flexibility, but also being solid in who you are. And a lot of that is knowing who you were in the first place. I believe a lot of people are chasing purpose right now mm-hmm. and, and they want purpose because they think that's going to be their driver. Mm-hmm. But purpose can change throughout your life and, and mm-hmm. who you are can change. You know, um, Bert, um, all of us, um, he's a international speaker and Olivia. And basically he, he talks about, you know, it only takes 45 minutes, excuse me, 45 seconds to change your mindset, change your mood. It takes, uh, you know, three weeks to train you something it takes you six months to form a habit mm-hmm. and you're a completely different person in nine years. Mm-hmm. Completely different person. I remember nine years ago, I was a, I've been married for nine and a half years. Mm-hmm. My wife are totally completely different people. I agree. Yeah. And so, and you know her, yeah, you met her. Yeah. But, but, if, but if you realize <laughs> she's been on the show. Oh yeah. But if you, <laughs> Twice she, actually. Wasn't she the first? Yes. Yeah, she, she was the third episode. The third episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She was the first video episode actually. That's <laughs> right. The first video. A little yeah. podcast history. At my house. Yes. At your at house. house. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're like, there's like this uh, blood brother kind of thing. Going for there. sure. Man. Um, but there's a, uh, does that make sense? I want, um, I want it to make where, sense. Where, where were you at in the pin or in the point? Just that um, what what I want is just to be unconditional in all of these different aspects in life, right? So somebody somebody rips me off, somebody lies about me, someone accuses me, someone backstabs me in business. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to sink back. I'm not going to I'm not not going to allow traumatic experiences to to make me a victim. And really, trauma makes two different people: victims and survivors. Mm-hmm. Victims have excuses and don't move forward. Survivors are empowered enough to even help other people. Mm-hmm. And we all have trauma. You know how we we. But, you know, we're, we seatbelt ourselves in our entire life. We try to to avoid trauma. Like it's some big scary thing. That's why public speaking. You people are, are afraid of public speaking more than death because mm-hmm. they think it's gonna they're gonna screw up and it's gonna be traumatic for them. Mm-hmm. But trauma creates victims and survivors. And so when you choose to be a survivor, I think that's one of the key elements of being unconditional as an entrepreneur. Uh, you're empowered so much that that can bleed over into the people around you. Mm-hmm. And by my choice to be a survivor of different traumas that, I, that have, I've seen in my entire life, I can help bring more empowerment to other people. And so can the other 10 coaches we have in this collaborative effort that is unconditional. Yeah. Okay, so so what are you doing to uh, promote this event? Yeah, you're you're putting on an event, a pretty big event, within such a short time. Do you wish you had more time to plan it? Absolutely not. Okay, um, when I put myself in a tight squeeze, I I work harder than ever, and I'm okay. more committed than ever. Got so, it. So so I'm one of those ENTP, you know, super left brain creative. Like if I have ten years to plan this thing, it'll never be as big. But if For if, sure. if I am forced into a this situation, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, push me in the pool. You know what I mean? I'll learn how to swim. Yeah, just push me in the pool, and so I push myself in the pool. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. No, I like that uh, kind of uh, kind of uh, hasty uh, mm-hmm. and make things happen quick. Yeah, kind of forces you to figure things out and be creative and to stop. Uh, I, I was. I was I was about to say a word, but I was trying to think of a better word. Uh, stop dilly dallying around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we call it putzing. Okay, putzing. Putzing. Yeah. putzing who, who are we? Yeah, the y- Yiddish. The Jewish, okay. Jewish, yeah. yeah, it's a Yiddish word. So you're putzing nice. around. You're putzing around. You're supposed to do that. You know, you're schlepping. You're, you're schlepping, schle- you schlepper. Schlepping yourself around, you know? <laughs> you're just not getting anything done. I learned the word sh- schlepper, which you means did? stupid person, right? Uh, to sh- One who schleps is one who, it's not a stupid person, but one who schleps is one who drags themselves around. Okay. Like, a like, lazy person. Maybe yeah, that's, what the, yeah. that's what it was. They're making it through <laughs> life. They're walking, but they're just dragging and dragging yeah. through life. It's not, it's not unconditional. It's not unconditional. It's, sure. <laughs> okay. it's not genuinity either. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was another, another one I learned recently. I think it was Schmutzpa or Schmitzpa or <laughs> Chutzpa. Chutzpa. Okay. Chutzpa. Yeah. Yeah. Chutzpa is is like your inner strength. It's your cojones. Mm-hmm. It's your it's your will. It's your yeah. It's Gary your... V. Actually, I think I learned that from. There you go. Yeah. And I, if I remember right, actually comes from the Hebrew Chazak. Okay. Means strength and power. Say Chazak, Chazak, Vanid Chazak means be strong, be strong, be courageous. You know, and then Chutzpa would be. Okay, so so you had a lot of chutzpah in oh, yeah. in starting this event. <laughs> it's it's 
I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket per mm-hmm. se. Another chicken analogy there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but I, I I said if I had no personal, if I had no external limit limitations and no personal limitations, what could I do? Mm-hmm. And then I quickly realized it's not what could I do, it's what could we do. This mm-hmm. is a collaborative effort. This isn't this isn't the Michael Shoning conference. Mm-hmm. This is the unconditional conference. This is this is a huge, huge thing because of the huge, huge people involved, right? Yeah. And it's really um I created a tornado and now I'm living in it. Okay. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not afraid of it whatsoever. Not are, one single bit. Are, are you destroying everything in your path? No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm destroying everything in my life that is it is um that's in the way. Okay. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. See, I got, I got, I, I, I and other people in my life and, and, and society have built these houses for me, these structures and these buildings, these walls, I should say Mm -hmm. of you can't do that because of this, Mm -hmm. right? If you're not going to put a quarter million into the first event, how is it going to (coughs) be successful? Right. If you don't have some big Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, no one's going to show up. Mm-hmm. You know, all of these different things. Uh, I've, I've been told I'm, the yeah. venue I'm looking at, We can. Uh, I've rented the UC Health Park, okay, mm-hmm. home of the Rocky Mountain Vibes. We have 5,000 seats. You can't sell 5,000 tickets on the first event. Are you crazy? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Maybe it takes a little bit of crazy. I have no, <laughs> I, maybe I am. Yeah. Or maybe the crazy one is telling me I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Maybe the crazy one is telling me I can't do it because they can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so no, I get it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Unconditional is, I'm not trying to, I don't need to prove anything to anybody, mm-hmm. but unconditional, this event, which will spark an entrepreneurial movement all over the country, this is about to be the launch of making Colorado Springs the entrepreneurial center of the world. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, because I think New York is or something like that. Yeah, it's about to be Colorado Springs. Okay, okay. It's about to be Colorado Springs, and you're part of it. Yeah, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, and, and and unconditional is just a product of what I want to be. I want to be unconditional and be fearless. Mm-hmm. I want to be. I want to be tenacious. Yeah, and I want to be raw, unapologetic, but I want to be smart and mm-hmm. educated and continuing in my education. Yeah, and that's that's real though. I mean, the experiences that you were just explaining with yeah. any entrepreneur, with any business. You know, me starting my business. You know. With the odds all faced against me and you know yeah, you moved here with like you know yeah you would just say you moved here with 500 bucks or yeah something like that? maybe not barely even, i had supposed to have more than that but i didn't but but yeah i i you know i i didn't have i don't remember anyone saying no or it's dumb yeah. because i wasn't listening you know so <laughs> i was doing my thing you know what they say is uh, a lot of people went to beethoven and told him because he was deaf that he would never be a good pianist yeah but did he listen <laughs> no, what happened to your audio it's, it's going still here but i think it's just my headphones yeah my yeah, headphones yeah. cut out because these things are getting all uh old and stuff gotcha yeah used a lot we we put this thing to work good good, good. <laughs> yes yes so um where was that that distracted me um anyways um so so how can how can people get involved in this event? You know, I, I first want to tell people uh, what they get out of it, right? Mm-hmm. So, great, I've shared these ideas on, on all this awesome stuff, but but what are people actually going to take home from this event? Well, they're going to get coaching. They're going to get more than $10,000 in in value of high, effective uh, business and personal coaching. Um, and I'm, I'm going to... Oh, I want to um, reveal who the speakers are here in a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to have massive networking sessions. People are going to be able to network with thousands of entrepreneurs. There's going to be a whole bunch of resource booths inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so people are going to be able to go to all these different resource booths and ask all the hard questions, right? So I do this for business. What insurance do I really need? Don't BS me, mm-hmm. right? I, I'm thinking about starting up, but do I do S Corp, LLC, sole proprietor, trade name? What do I do? So we're going to have, you know, Better Business can, Bureau is going to be be there. Uh, Precision Services is going to be there. We've mm-hmm. got a lot of different people who are, are going to be there and offer resources to entrepreneurs, right? We have the COS Business Podcast there. That's mm-hmm. one of my. That's going to be one of my favorite uh, uh, spots to uh, check out. Um, it's mass education. You know, um, college, 99% of the time, is the biggest scam in human history. If you're going to be a surgeon, before you take out my appendix, please go to college. Yes. But for <laughs> but for all the bachelor, bachelor uh, uh, you know, all the, uh, everyone with a bachelor's degree in arts and English, and, and they're asking, do you want a, a grande or a venti, right? <coughs> 
So I, <laughs> we're going to be giving people um, hundreds of years of education um, just wrapped up into one day. And then inspiration. We want people to be, uh, we want this to be kind of coming out of <laughs> pandemic thing. We want people to be able to be inspired and motivated to do things that they've uh, never done before. And this is really what they take home, right? And this is Thursday, um, August 19th. So we still have some plan for people to, mm-hmm. some time for people to, to, to show up and get their tickets. Uh, our mantra is I'm unconditional. We want people by the end of the event to be able to say I'm unconditional. And that's not just about business. That's about all of life. Mm-hmm. And uh, the speakers here, uh, we have Craig Tomanini, Frank Sinclair, Michelle Mraz, Beata Sirwin reed uh, Diego Lujan, Johnny Joy, Tammy Maltby Melchizedek, Jed Heffer, myself, Quentin Blanche, and Brandon James Kirk. And some of these people are Emmy Award winners, international TEDx speakers, mm-hmm. business owners. You already know most of the names here. Mm-hmm. My hope and prayer is that people know not all the names and hopefully know at least some of them, right? Because mm-hmm. I want you to hear from people you've never heard from before. But we're also, like we had a meeting, a very powerful meeting a couple of days ago. Um, we're going to be revealing things that we don't reveal at local business networking groups. We, we've chosen all of our absolute top uh, mic dropping life and business secrets that we're only revealing it unconditional. So no, you absolutely can't get this from somewhere else. And each of us have a session topic and each session topic is an ingredient of unconditional. So we want people to kind of have that mantra in their mind. I'm unconditional. I'm unconditional. You know, um, when it comes, if, if you're, if you're on a health thing, you know, and you're driving past, past that Mickey D's and you're like, Psh, I'm not going to have that Mickey D's right now. I'm unconditional about my health. Mm. You know, I'm conditional about my relationships, about my love for myself and my love for others. I'm unconditional as an entrepreneur, which means so much more than someone here to just make money and not have a boss. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm unconditional about life. My, Marie and I always say, let's create a life. We don't need a vacation from. And Quentin Blanche told me the other day, you know, a lot of people are born looking like, he says, everyone's born looking like their parents, but everyone dies looking like their choices. Mm-hmm. So what are our choices? You know, what, what is everything that, that our parents weren't equipped to tell us? The college and life wasn't equipped to tell us. If you, if you were to sit with Frank and he were to tell you his absolute top secrets in life for 25 minutes, it's probably worth thousands of dollars, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Right? We're doing that times 11 in one day event. So it's it's really simple. They go to I'm unconditional.com to learn more to get your tickets. Uh, we're I want to we're going to be giving away two tickets here on, yeah. on the show. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but I, I want people to understand that to every problem there is a solution. And I could share my story and I've shared a little bit about my story. There's so much more. But I also want to share practical action, right? This isn't just a high spirited motivational event. This is we're giving people the practical tools for success. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So, so let's do the giveaway. Let's do it. I don't know how we're going to do it. Like, I think we're just going to do a keyword. Uh, we can actually, what I'm thinking is I just, I'm going to, I was going to do two tickets. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go freaking nuts. Unconditional right now. Let's do four tickets. Oh, okay. So there's, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, to show up to the event, to be part of this, you know, 5,000 seats. We're going to fill this baseball stadium. Literally. Uh, it's only 147 <laughs> bucks as a general admission. That's mm-hmm. it, 147. If people want to stay home, they don't want to go out, that's fine. <laughs> they can't make it that day. It's only 47 bucks. Both tickets are going to have um, uh, 12 months archive access to everything that's filmed. That's a massive opportunity, right? We're actually creating a whole membership portal where they'll have access to all the coaches and continue education. And we've already packed that with well over $10,000 of of just giveaways and coaching and, and different uh, courses. So we can do- Oh, you guys got giveaways and stuff? Oh, we're doing so much stuff. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm- I might just be giving away money from the stage. I don't even know. It's going to be <laughs> you know, Oprah Winfrey is going to be like, yeah. man, I should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so I want to give away two general admission tickets. That's $147 each. And then two of the online live premiere tickets. Okay. And those are worth $47 each. So we're really giving away uh, like $400 right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet. So how do, how do we how are we doing this giveaway? Uh, whoever drops because the last time the last time we did it, you know, we had a keyword, and then people would drop the, and then I would, I don't know if it was the first one to drop it or if I did an, I think I did a random number generator. We did the I remember we did like a, a guess something about an animal. Oh yeah, type yeah. thing that was kind of <laughs> goofy. Um, 
I don't know. Do you have like a random word generator or something like that? Or you just would just just say a ridiculous word, and the first person to write down that word mm-hmm. gets that gets the ticket. So we have the two onlines and then the two general admissions. So we can we can do four ridiculous words. Oh, four ridiculous words. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> so you, you go first. Um. Oh, now I can't think. Now I can't think. Okay, chutzpah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so chutzpah. No one's gonna is know how to spell word. that. <laughs> Do you know how to spell it? Yeah, it's a uh, Hamid. Uh, no, what is it? It's, um, Hamid. It's um, it's Chet Vav uh, Sade uh, Pe Hey. That's how you spell it in Hebrew. Yeah. Okay, in Hebrew. <laughs> so it'd be like C H U Z P U H. Okay, something C- like that. Whoever spells, whoever at least tries. Yeah, someone's gonna like H U T Z P A H U T Z. Yeah, P A A A A A. That's fine too. Chutzpah and whatever. whatever okay, and this and this is for uh, the, uh, the online, the live, the live. Okay, so the first one's gonna get the live, and let's give away the next uh, live ticket, and the word is going to be um, penguin. 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 Also, is difficult to spell. All right, so so whoever whoever types. Hutzpa and first gets an on gets the giveaway or whoever types penguin gets the giveaway. The so one. the yeah. gets the second uh live live uh uh online yeah, online premiere. ticket. Yes, yeah, online premiere. premiere ticket. So the next two words people get to show up and actually network amongst mm-hmm. hundreds of people. Now if people win the live premiere and you just want to pay the difference to show up, I'm gonna let them do that too. Okay. That's totally fine with me too. Sweet. Someone wants to actually show up. So so put that in there right now if you haven't. That put either in the chat Hutzpa or Penguin to win <laughs> to win the premiere or the the live event uh online. It's so all these words get like, yeah. in my head all weird. Okay. But online online okay. tickets. All right. So let's move on to the next all one. All right. Your turn. Uh Marcus, you got a word? You're asking me right now? <laughs> Recon, just okay. Broke the fourth wall. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> recon. Recon is the third word. A type first person to type in recon gets a general admission um, ticket to show up to Unconditional 2021, August 19th. Now I'm gonna do the fourth word. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like looking around right now. Yeah, you pull it off of it. Polarizer. 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 Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Something to do here. Yeah, it's a, it's a filter for a lens, but, you know. Uh, polarizer. Donald Trump was a polarizer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a Donald Trump impersonation. I'm going to pull it out I know you. everyone's trying to do it right now, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, maybe at unconditional. So, um, you know, a couple different things. Um, we want people, you know, free parking. Uh, we're going to have concessions open the entire time so you can get some food. Uh, I forgot to mention, we actually blocked off an entire section of the park to be a VIP section. Okay. This is a, a huge terrace, a balcony. Um, we're going to have food and drinks all day long. So there is a VIP option, and they can find out more on imunconditional.com. I found out a lot of people were going to I am unconditional, like the letters I-A-M, but mm-hmm. it's letters I-M. So it's I'm unconditional. Okay, so I am you in... C O N Dishonal. C O N Dishonal. Yes. Dot com. Okay. Absolutely. And that's where people can go to to get tickets. Yep. Um, people can put in those words. If you haven't put in any of those words yet, put them in there and get your prize. That's right. And it's August nineteenth. August nineteenth. All day. All day. Ten to six. Bring, All day, bring baby. Notebook, followed by like two three hours of open after hours. Grab a beer, kind of networking. Really cool stuff. Meet some powerful people. Change your life forever. Um, just be prepared. And I checked the farmer's almanac. It's actually going to be a really nice day. We're looking at between 68 and 74 degrees, like 2% chance of snow or anything. Mm-hmm. Or not snow, but uh, rain. So it's actually okay. going to be a phenomenal day. You could, you're going to be outside in the bleachers, but then you can go inside. Um, the first people who get tickets are going to be able to sit towards the front, which has come for your seating. So make sure you're there. And then all of the booths and the concessions are open um you know we really want people to be able to uh we're, we're taking a year's worth of of coaching and putting it into one day okay so we want people to to commit that one day mm-hmm. and so in in the event uh is there like workshops that people go through in so this this year we don't have that at the event mm-hmm. essentially what we're we're building is the 
um, that platform, the member portal. And so that's really all of that continuous workshop stuff throughout the year. Oh, okay. Uh, Interesting. We're just taking the best of the best from all of these coaches for one day. Okay, sweet, man. Well, I think uh, your meter is about to go up. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm unconditional. So. Yes, yes. Unwavering. Unwavering. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we'll wrap this up. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to, to say or promote? You know, right now we're, we're in the moment where we're looking for um, sponsors. We're looking for ad spot sponsors. Um, and we're looking for booth sponsors sponsors so we have all of those pricing available uh we've got a huge discount for nonprofits. um right now we're we're still working on looking for a nonprofit to be involved in the event so we can donate a big portion of the of all of the sales to a local nonprofit. we, we want to make sure that they're empowering uh, we're actually looking at a group right now that wants to start teaching entrepreneur skills to children at five years old starting at five and some mm-hmm. I, I told someone they said teaching kids business at five so, well, we teach them how to be an employee starting at five. Mm-hmm. Why not teach them how to be a business owner? I don't see no problem with that. Community leader at five. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, I mean, th- this movement is about to spark a change in this nation like absolutely never before. This is the biggest thing that will ever come to Colorado Springs. I love because, I love your confidence in yes. that. <laughs> and, and it's not because of me. It's because... All I did was cast a vision and people Mm -hmm. jumped on it. That's all that I did. Mm -hmm. All I did was cast a vision. But because this is, this is people, very powerful people coming together to make this thing happen. That's why we're showing people that literally if people band together with their skills and talents from different, all different backgrounds, it doesn't matter who you are, right? You come together and you're willing to give. These are all givers. That's why I chose these people. Mm-hmm. They're all givers. They want to give to the community, right? You put these people in a room and they inspire and they take action. And it will inspire others to take action. And that's why it's powerful. It's that this is just a little pebble, but it's about to be dropped in the pond. All right, man. Sweet. You know, it's funny. uh, You put a time constraint on uh, the meter, too. Yeah. So it really worked out. That's right. Man. That's right. <laughs> if you set the if you set the the the, the end goal, the end time, then you're going to fulfill. What is that? There, that is that's an effect like the 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 Pomodoro effect or something like that. Whatever time yeah. frame you give yourself is how long it's going to take. What a, I'll, I'll finish this with one of my favorite quotes. This is by Zig Ziglar. He said something along the lines of whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're generally right either way. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I have heard that before. I, have, I dig that one. But yeah, we'll wrap this up. This has been the COS Business Podcast. Check out Unconditional August 19th, 2021. Nothing's going to stop this. Nothing. I'm unconditional.com to learn more. All right. All right, guys. Bye bye. Let's see. I'll throw that ending in there. And cut. Cut. <laughs> cool, man. Is that okay? Yeah. It was good. Oh. <sighs> That's why that's Yep, yep. These things are aren't unconditional.